The LIBOR rate fixing scandal is shaping up to be one of the biggest financial crimes in the history of the world. We're looking at more than a dozen of the biggest banks on the planet conspiring to manipulate hundreds of trillions of dollars in the global economy so that they can make bigger profits while consumers, small, business, uh, small businesses, and entire cities are left to go bankrupt. Although the scandal has spread to Wall Street, and already DOJ officials are preparing criminal charges against numerous banksters, the center of this crime is in London's financial district, home to Barclays Bank, first bank to be implicated in the rate rigging scandal. Two top executives at Barclays have already resigned, and the bank was slapped with a $450 million fine for criminal activity. Right now, London's financial district is radioactive. You don't want to go near it, especially if you're a politician. Guess where Mitt Romney, America's bankster, guess where he is tonight? Raising money in London's crime-ridden financial district. And he probably feels right at home there. The Romney campaign is throwing two fundraisers, a reception and a dinner. It'll cost you $2,500 a person to attend the reception with Mitt in the middle of London's financial crime center and $25 to $75,000 to attend a dinner with Mitt. But that's just pocket change to the banksters. This guy's recently made off with billions by illegally rigging LIBOR rates. The fundraisers are supposedly reserved only for expats, but they're being hosted by several banksters and lobbyists with ties to the LIBOR scandal, including Barclays lobbyist Patrick Durkin, the co-chair of Romney's fundraisers. Barclays Bank's executives have already coughed up more than a million dollars in donations to the Romney campaign, which has really ticked off British members of parliament who are investigating LIBOR crimes. As the British newspaper The Telegraph reports, 11 MPs, that's MPs, members of parliament, they're the equivalent of the House of Representatives, 11 MPs last week demanded the bank and its directors stop working to bolster Mr. Romney's election campaign and concentrate on repairing confidence in the banking system. But of course, if Romney still gets, you know, if he gets on a plane, if he flies all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, comes to party in London's financial district, what else is Barclays supposed to do? I mean, the banksters, he's their guy. Mitt Romney is their meal ticket. I would like to repeal Dodd Frank. I would like to repeal Dodd Frank. Yeah, Romney is the guy. Romney is the guy who's going to repeal Dodd Frank financial regulations. Free Wall Street once again to gamble, manipulate, and defraud the rest of us. So Barclays. And the rest of the scandal-ridden banks aren't really contributing to Mitt Romney. They're investing in Mitt Romney. What Mitt Romney is doing tonight goes way beyond his campaign's racist Anglo-Saxon remarks, which, by the way, didn't go over all that well in the UK either. It goes way beyond Mitt's shady Swiss bank accounts, which people there are pointing out. It goes way beyond his years at Bain, offshoring American jobs and stuffing hundreds of millions of dollars in his own pockets. They're all important, but holding a fundraiser on foreign soil with banksters who work for a foreign corporation and are currently being investigated for what could be the biggest financial crime in the history of the world, that takes the cake.